Well, this is Jackson Hardwick, Pulitzer Prize eligible reporter for KMRD. I have been taken, blindfolded, what I would estimate to be around three miles south of central Albuquerque. I'm with General and we are standing in front of what I assume to be two scale models of the microchip that are being developed to be injected in the secret Bill Gates funded track and trace program. The first one is about the size of a medium suitcase. Sir, what does this do and what are the actual final dimensions? Erm, um, uh, well, you know how your cell phone only lasts a day? Well, the project requirement was that the microchip lasts a decade. Uh, so using the very latest in uh, high density energy storage and super efficient uh, microcontroller chip technology, we managed to get the uh, injectable microchip package down to the dimensions uh, you see here. You mean to tell me this is actual size? A medium suitcase? Uh, well, um... Oh, okay. Uh, moving on. The second, uh, what I'm hoping to be a scaled model is significantly smaller, about the size of a side dish plate. Sir, what does this one do and what are its true final dimensions? Uh, so we developed a passively energized version. It works by converting the radio waves provided by the satellite into, uh, energy needed to power up the device. This required us to make the satellite, uh, a nuclear microwave generator the size of a small moon. On the, uh, plus side, you'll no longer need a microwave oven. Oh, so this approximately 8 inch diameter dish is actual size as well? Uh, these are supposed to be injectable. How do you propose we do that? Uh, uh yes, we developed this. Oh my god, that's terrifying! We, uh, managed to test it out on Private Ramirez. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at a hypodermic needle the size of a neighborhood sewer pipe. I, I want to go home now. Uh, this is Pulitzer Prize-eligible reporter Jackson Hardwick, and I'm gonna be sick. <laughs>